Hello. <laughs> Are we started already? Yes. Hello. Um, welcome to my channel. We are off to Manchester and we are going to Walt Disney World! <laughs> So we've just got to our airport hotel, the Double Tree at Hilton. This is the room tour. Nice bathroom. Toiletries. Wardrobe. Tea and coffee and water. And then mirror, lots of plug sockets, big TV. Another mirror. And is there a fridge? No, just storage. So yeah, that's everything. It's very, very nice. So we're just going down <laughs> for dinner. At the hotel. We've had a look at the menu. It looks really nice. So let's go. Um, yeah, no, it was different down in Bristol. It was more smaller than you. You had like calamari and stuff like that. Korean chicken burger, steak. You've got, to, you've got to get a shot of Guinness. <laughs> you can have a yours. It's a nib. It did say nibble. All I'm going to say is we're not greedy, are we, George? And then you realise how, how bad it is. Um, just because right. it's all like... Got, um, food. What's that? Oh. I got the Halloween burger. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it is something I like. But you see the, the conditions they were living in. It's all wrong. Just got some drinks. So we've just had our results through and we're going to Florida. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound it, but it is. <laughs> so oh, yeah. it took just over two hours for results to come through from we went with phonetics so you do a um, lateral flow test observed by one of the scientists we had Kathleen she was amazing and she explained to us how to do the test we did the test in front of her and then we um, she took us through how to set up a profile and activate the test and then upload the test results. Um, we did also do a test this morning to make sure we knew we were negative on the day because we didn't want to have a bit of a shock. But um, I'd say it went smoothly and the wait for the email is horrible but once you get it, it's worth it. 
Um, and and we Kathleen also, was amazing. Yeah, Kathleen was amazing. That's who we had on the call. And the Double Tree at Hilton at Manchester um, have offered to print off our um, Fit to Fly certificates. So, all in all, really good service. Very, very happy. Yes, we will next see you in the morning. Good morning. It is travel day. And we are off to Walt Disney World. <sighs> so excited. Um, very nervous. I am quite a nervous flyer. So I'll be very happy once the um, flight is out the way. We're just getting ready. I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup. George is showering. My mum and dad are awake. We have a shuttle bus um scheduled to come get us at 20 to 5 and take us to the airport um so yeah so today is the 2nd of may um so as of the 2nd of may what we needed to to fly was um we had to be fully vaccinated that's two jabs um and we also had to have the covid pass for them but it's a travel pass we then had to have a fit to fly certificate we went with prenetics yesterday i spoke a bit about that i um we got on really well with them but i'm not recommending them or anything in case um anyone uses them and <laughs> doesn't have the same experience um i'm not taking any responsibility for that um and you have to have your esters and you have to fill out a attestation form to say that um, to the best of your knowledge you haven't been in contact with anyone with COVID-19, um, you've tested negative and you're fully jabbed basically so you, you have to sign to say that you haven't lied about anything and everything is in order. Um, we uploaded everything to Virgin's Fly Ready app um, last night and everyone was verified. I know some people have had issues with the Fly Ready app, but we didn't. It's slow, but it does get there eventually. Um, so, yeah, we are going to get to the airport for about 5am, um, finish checking in and then... Yeah, I'll see you the other side of security. I wouldn't recommend but um, Manchester Airport had a massive, massive queue um, and yeah we're just trying to get ourselves into the lounge and we're also in the queue for the restaurant so I will update you. <laughs> so we've come to the Bridgewater Exchange for breakfast, um, I wasn't really hungry. So, just gone for some tater tots. Retro football shirts. No last. Biased. Spider-Man. Spider-Man and George is watching James Bond. 
ordered the vegetarian option and I got vegetable, mixed vegetable biryani which smells amazing. Um, knives and forks, um, a plant paste chocolate pot which I'm happy about because I don't have a lot of dairy um, and crackers and spread. And I've had a diet coke. They haven't got out yet. George went for chicken and bacon and mash. Um, he's got a bread roll, orange juice, and a different type of chocolate bar. It's milk chocolate and salt, sea salt. Um, smells really good. So my afternoon tea has just arrived. I've got, um, again, a vegetarian option. So green wrap filled with sweet potato falafel, roasted vegetables, and garlic and herb sauce. And it is gluten free. And I've got a scone with some cottage cream as well, which I won't be having because I can't kind of have dairy, but very nice nonetheless. Caribbean Beach. I will update you on our transfer nightmare later on. This is the room tour. It's massive. So much space. I'm there. Huge king size bed. Obviously Walt Disney World today. Two double sinks. George is in the bathroom so I won't go in there. The bed is gorgeous. The little details are just so nice. And we're on the ground floor. Stunning. And the aircon just hits differently over here. I've gone for a chicken Caesar salad because I'm not that hungry. Mum's gone for salmon with mash and vegetables. We've got a bacon cheeseburger and George has gone for a Philly cheese steak sandwich. This is in one photo why men um, die of their own. We've got burgers and chips, beers. So nice here. In Super Walmart. Hoping for a nice Disney section somewhere. Yes, clothes. Just need like a pouch of things. Yeah. I think they were down here in boxes. Yeah. Just getting some stuff for washing. There. Expensive though. Yeah, but I took the risk in there. Mm-hmm. This is the good bit. Treats. Oh, 
birthday cake, carrot cake Oreos. I want to get some stuff down the side. If that's okay. Red velvet. I'm obsessed with anything red velvet. Definitely having those. And I think the carrot cake Oreos as well. Pecan shortbread. This is the best section, George. It's a hoy. We literally have so many good stuff. Oh, cereal bars. Should we get some cereal bars? No? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking down everything. Goldfish, these are like really are supposed to be really nice. They're like cheesy little biscuits in the shape of fish. Do you want any fancy drinks? No, thank you. No. Get some of these? No. What? Maybe you get them if you want them. I get some Drinks. Definitely gonna get two packs of water, I think. 40, yeah, that should be enough. Two packs of them, one for each room. Look at all these crisps. Oh my God, Funyuns. And Flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos. Ooh. I want to get something, but I'm not sure what. Incredible. I'm obsessed with avocado. Avocado salsa. <gasps> Smooth ranch dip. Right, I'm just going to do a quick Walmart haul. It's like 10 o'clock. We literally are so tired and can't function. So, this is just what I got. I got these because they're my favourite. Lindor's back home and you can't get them in a full pack. I'm obsessed with red velvet, so red velvet chips ahoy. Peanut butter M&Ms. Two lots of caramel M&Ms because um, my hairdresser 
asked me to get her some. Fruity Pebbles bar because I wanted to try it. Funyuns because in Lucy and Steve's vlog she said how good they are and I want to try them. Um, these chewy yogurt bars for breakfast and snacks. Um, shampoo, conditioner, um, some Minnie Mouse flip flops, cotton pads, um, hair bands, sugar cookies. I've just tried my first ever sugar cookie. It's unreal and they are worth the hype. Carrot cake Oreos, then strawberry lemonade, cherry limeade and grape. Chewing gums, Scooby Doo socks, Tiana socks and they have array design. Then this Florida t-shirt, it's dark blue. 